Hi, I'm David Levin, and welcome to Pop Goes the Culture, the untold stories of your favorite shows from the people who were there. Today, part one of my three-part conversation with Tom Wopat, best known as Lucas Duke on the hit series The Dukes of Hazard. In today's episode, Tom will reveal just how many General Lees were there, the story behind his signature slide across the hood of the General Lee. What was it like working with John Schneider, Denver Pyle, and the rest? And the scariest moment on Dukes. So three hundred and nine. General Boy, I, you know, there's a, a bunch of numbers thrown around. I was always thinking there was probably between one and two an episode. And I don't know, I guess there's like 140, 150 episodes. So probably between 150 and 300, somewhere in there. Somebody, now what happened to each of the things when you would, you would do these, these major... They don't land very well. You know, they, they do break apart. What they did, too, is they would cannibalize the ones they wrecked and, you know, put sheet metal from one on another one. And we tried to keep a couple of cars looking good. Uh, there was a couple of cars that, you know, we didn't jump that we used for what they called the picture car. How many, uh, how many of those stunts did you do yourself? Oh, the car stunts, we really didn't do much. And John did a lot of the drive-ins and drive-outs, that kind of thing. I mean, you'd throw a 90-degree thing or reverse 180 and that kind of thing. I can do that stuff, too. I did a little bit, but um, not no jumps or crashes, not on purpose anyway. Tell me about that first sort of signature. Slide across the hood? Well, it's kind of documented. I, it was actually a, an accident. I, um, my idea was, this was in the second episode, and we're running down a hill, and uh, I jump across the car and get in. And, and, and the camera is right on the far side of the car. You see us running down the hill. And my idea was to step on the near fender because, you know, we were on the hill above it, so I was just going to put my foot on the fender and jump over, which I did in rehearsal just fine. And the grass is a little wet, so I got my cowboy boots on, and my heel hits the near fender and slides out from under me. So you hit that, bam, and it's slid across the hood. And as a matter of fact, there was about this much of the antenna sticking up. The antenna was broken off, and I got about a four-inch gouge in my arm when I was doing it. But, you know, it became kind of a signature thing. Look good on screen. It looked great on screen. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> Anything for show business. Uh, how much fun was it getting together with uh, John Schneider again at Smallville? That was a lot of fun. You know, um, obviously that's his gig, and he's been doing it for a while, or he did do it for a while. Um, it, was, it was a great deal of fun to work with him again on, on film. We'd done a bunch of musical stuff together over the years, but uh, this was the first time we'd done a, another series situation. It was hilarious. There were, there were moments there that were just, you know... Well, they did some pretty heavy nods toward the old show. <laughs> just say, but his character at this point is just so straight ahead. Right. The fact that they were just sort of throwing the fact that Jonathan Kent in another life might have been a Duke of Hazard. <laughs> talk, about, talk about your co-star in a little bit. Talk about uh, John and, and, uh, and Catherine. Well, I think... You know, that we came out of the woodwork, so to speak, um, in that show. Fortunately, we were surrounded by a bunch of professionals, uh, you know, especially Jim Best, um, Sorrel Book, and Denver Pyle. Uh, they were amazingly talented and very generous. We were, I think, uh, you know, we were blessed with having the, the talent that we did uh, working with us. Sorrel and Denver and, and Jim were all, you know, real pros um, of different uh, genres of the work. And they all were real generous in, in uh, you know, helping us break in, kind of. The thing, too, was that there was a, there was a really um, sincere chemistry between the three of us. And we very much enjoyed working with each other. And, uh, and we enjoyed each other's company a lot. Was there a moment on the show when you were doing it during the course of the when there was like a story or something that happened that, you know, the story that you love to tell, that you've been dining out on all these years? <laughs> well, not really. You know, there's, I mean, I've told a bunch of stories in a bunch of different shows over the years. I think the one thing that people don't realize, I, I think the scaredest I was ever in the car was when Kathy was driving. Really? Yeah, we had a scene where we had been in some sort of fight Jeez, imagine that. And she slides up, she pulls up in the General Lee, and we jump in, and she drives off. And I was on the floor in the back seat. I thought I was going to die. She's insane. She was, she's an amazing driver. She was then, anyway. That's it for now. Next time, Tom Wopat talks about the great Dukes of Hazard guest stars, Loretta Lynn, Ernie Hudson, 
He talks about the Duke's theme and what happened when the boys came back from their contractual hiatus and then went for an unscripted joyride in the General Lee. Till then, what was your favorite Dukes of Hazard episode? Let me know in the comments below. I'm David Levin. Thanks for watching.